Hi students, I'm Abhishek from Vidya Guru and in today's video, I'm going to teach you some very interesting tricks. Those tricks which will be involved in converting binary numbers to decimal numbers and decimal numbers to binary numbers. So these are going to be really useful, very very time saving and if you like the video, please press the like button for sure, share the video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed till now and make sure while subscribing, you press the bell icon also because doing that will help you receive the notifications of all our videos as you can see this is a complete english medium video which has been shot especially for our students from uh, south india especially for our students from northeast india those who are unable to understand hindi well for them we record such special separate videos let's get started with our wonderful tricks students uh, as i said the first thing, the first thing that we are going to learn is to convert binary numbers to decimal numbers. What are binary numbers? Very simple. Binary numbers, those numbers which we have written using only 0 and 1. Using only 0 and 1. So, they are binary numbers. I am going to convert these binary numbers into decimal numbers. You know what decimal numbers are, where we use all the digits from 0 2, 9, 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 9. Sure. So let's convert this, uh, you know, binary number into decimal number. Let's understand the trick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the right. I'm going to start from the right of the number. So I'm going to write, I'm going to start writing from 1. And I'm going to keep on doubling. I will keep on doubling. So 1 becomes 2. 1 becomes 2. Below the next digit I have written 2, I will keep on doubling. So below the next digit I will write the double of 2 which is 4. Then I will write 8 which is the double of 4. The next number I am going to write is 16 and after 16 I will write 32. Now you know what is happening. I have started from 1 and I have kept on doubling. Sure. Now what you need to do is just observe where the ones are where the ones are how many ones are there one two and three three ones are there and just note just note the numbers below those ones just note the numbers below those ones so we have 32 we have 16 and we have 2 32 16 and 2 these are the numbers which are written below the ones i'm going to highlight them for you so i've highlighted them for you Sure, 32, 16 and 2, simply add them, simply add them and don't bother about the other numbers. So 32 and 16 becomes 48, 48 and 2 becomes 50, sure, so it was 50, how simple that is, students, how simple that is. So I have told you what the decimal number is, the decimal number is 50, sure, now let's pick up another number. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start writing from the right of the number and I'm going to keep on doubling. I start with one, then I will double it. It becomes two. Then I write four. Then I write eight. One, two, four, eight. After eight, you know the double is going to be 16. And after 16, I have 32. Sure. So again, the same thing. Just note, just note those numbers which are written below the ones which are written below the ones observe how many ones i have i have three ones this is a uh, one pair sure and i have two more so how many ones were there three ones were there just observe the numbers written below them sure and add them nothing else so 32 and 2 34 34 and 1 35 how much time does that take? With some speed, with some practice, it won't take you more than 10 seconds. Hardly even 10 seconds. Sure. Now comes a lengthy number. Now comes a lengthy number. This may take a little while, but it is going to be easy. We start with 1. 1 becomes 2. Then we write 4. Then we write 8. Then we write 16. Then we write 32. I'm just uh, doubling. Nothing else. 32 becomes 64. And finally, 64 becomes 128. Sure. Just observe the numbers written below the ones. And how many ones we have over here? 1, 2, 3, 4. Just look at these numbers. I have 128. I have 8. I have 4. And I have 
2 nothing else so 128 and 8 students that becomes 136 136 and 4 becomes 140 140 plus 2 gives me 142 so 142 I've written all these dangerous looking binary numbers into decimal numbers I've converted them so easily had you gone by the traditional method it would have taken you a whole lot of time I have simply taught you the short break sure now we will do the reverse students now we will do the reverse we will convert the decimal numbers into binary numbers so that is going to be fun sure let's uh, watch it now I'm going to convert 99 I'm going to write it in uh, binary numbers and you know binary numbers use only 0 and 1 sure so again the same thing I start by writing 1 I start by writing 1 and then I keep on doubling so 1 2 4 8 16 32 64 now I stop at 64 why have I stopped at 64 because now comes the important point students if I double if I double 64 it will become 128 and the moment I double it it becomes 128 it overshoots the original number students 128 will overshoot the original number so you are not supposed to overshoot the original number you are supposed to stop just one step before it just one step before it so at 64 I stop at 64 I stop I don't overshoot I don't reach 128 sure and now just observe just observe carefully which of these numbers which all which all numbers you require which all numbers you require for writing 99 for writing 99 which numbers we require let's see I require 64 sure I require 64 I even require 64 plus 32 64 plus 32 what does it uh, become it becomes 96 so you have to think of you have to think of all those numbers out of these you have to think of all those numbers which you will require for creating 99 so you have to add up sure you have to add up I add 64 with 32 it becomes 96 96 and 2 it gives me 98 98 and 1 gives me 99 98 and 1 gives me 99 that means students I required these numbers I required 64 I required 32 I required 2 and I required 1 for summing up for summing up to arrive at 99 so I arrive at 99 by adding these numbers so very simple I required only these numbers so I will write one below each of these numbers I will write one below each of these numbers so below 64 I write one below 32 I write one because I have used all of them before 2 I will be writing 1 before 1 I will be writing 1 why because I have used all of them sure which ones I have not used I have not used 16 8 and 4 so the ones I have not used below them I will be writing 0 below them I will be writing 0 so finally the answer turns out to be students finally the answer turns out to be this so this is the binary form this is the binary conversion of 99 I hope you have understood that now sure so let's take up one more example let's uh, now try 75 so again the same thing the same process I start with one students I start with one one then I keep on doubling one two four eight sixteen thirty two 64 again I will not go I will not go on to 128 because it will overshoot the original number it will overshoot the original number 75 now think of all those numbers think of all those numbers which you will require to arrive at 75 sure so I will think of all those numbers which I will use which I will use which I will use to sum up to come up with 75 so I will require 64 yes I require 64 so 64 students 64 and 8 gives me 72 64 and 8 gives me 72 I'm adding these numbers I'm adding all those numbers 
adding all those numbers which will together give me 75 so 64 and 8 72 72 and 2 becomes 74 74 and 1 becomes 75 i have arrived at 75 so i will require 64 8 2 and 1 when i add them up when i add them up i arrive at 75 sure that means i have used all of them i have used all of them because i have used all of them i'm going to write one below these numbers which i have used i will write one below these numbers which i have used sure the ones i have not used their importance was zero you can say their importance was zero so i will write zero below them so below 32 i write uh, zero below 16 i write uh, zero and below four i write zero once again sure so this becomes the binary form students this becomes the binary form of how much of 75 now students what you have to do is in the common box in the common box section you have to give me the binary form students this is the decimal number 87 you have to give me the binary form of 87 sure i hope you have liked the tricks that we have discussed today if you want more such sessions motivate us by liking our videos by sharing our videos and please don't forget to be a part of our live online classes and the video courses which we have especially launched for you. Thank you so much.